Today I am going to show you how to use the bump line utility to bring a differential pair into skew tolerance. Here I have a differential pair that violates the max skew tolerance defined for it. If you look in the constraint browser, you'll notice that I have a max skew tolerance defined and my skew difference is reflected in red, meaning that it is out of tolerance. So I will correct this using the bump line utility available on the ribbon under the track tab. And in the dialog here, I can define the type of bump that I'm going to use and the size of the bump also can be defined here. I will now go out and add a bump to my differential pair and I will then check back to the constraint browser and I will see that my skew difference is still in red, which means I'm in violation of my max skew tolerance, but it has decreased. So I will go out and I will add another bump to my differential pair and I will go back and check my new skew. And now my skew difference is reflected in black, meaning that it is intolerance and this is where I wanna be. If I wanna refine that even further, I can go out and add another bump and go back and check my constraint browser and you'll see that I am almost now at optimum skew. This is how you refine the skew of a differential pair using the Generate Bump Utility in DesignForce. Feel free to reach out to us in the community and thank you for watching.